Sneaky B back at last with a let's watch of the remainder of Kingdom Hearts Union Cross. Holy shit, dude. This has been a long time coming. I know, I know. I've been asked about this a lot, but uh, there was just a lot of other games that I was sort of like in the middle of and want to check out and it took a while, okay? It took a while. The last time I actually covered Kingdom Hearts Union Cross stuff was literally back in 2019. It's been well over two years I fucking looked at this stuff. And needless to say, I was fucking rusty, okay? So I knew that when I came back to this, first off, I would have to refresh myself again on it, um, which I've already done literally twice now. I, I did it, I did it the first time I went and watched the entire thing, right? The first video, which I think I did back in 20, like, 17 and then i came back when i came back to it again in like 2018 i did a, another video that i watched another video that covered the whole thing plus all the new stuff that got added to it and then uh the re the, the video that came after that was only a couple months later and it was just covering a few of the recent like things that had been added to it but since then this freaking series is actually done kingdom arts union cross is fucking finished it took a billion years and 300,000 pages of Namura plot bullshit, but they finally did it. The game is actually complete. Unfortunately, there's still another expansion beyond this. This is just the Union Cross thing, but there's actually another one that came after this that's not even included in this, and that is Dark Road, which covers freaking young Xehanort and his stuff. I don't know if that's done yet, to be honest. I actually don't. I I looked it up and I couldn't tell if it was completed yet. You guys can tell me I thought it was, but maybe it isn't. It was actually kind of hard to find videos on just the main story cutscenes of Dark Road. So I don't know if like they're still being worked on or if there's like a period that it, like, it hasn't actually been like fully translated into English, which was actually a problem with the Union Cross thing was like, the English one was many, many months behind the Japanese version. So it, it, what it ended up leading to was people literally going in and doing like their own translation over message boxes. And that was what I was doing. What are the uh, scenes I was watching when I went and did this uh, series uh, a couple years back? So yeah, there's there's that, and it's kind of in the same style as what Union Cross was. I imagine it's like an expansion to it. I, I don't know. I haven't actually played any of these games myself. But yeah, so if you're wondering why am I covering this now, like why now, aside from the fact that this is pretty long overdue at this point, um, so I know that both. Uh, the Great Ace Attorney Chronicles and Neo The World Ends With You, the sequel to World Ends With You, is going to be coming out at the end of this month here. And because that's only three weeks between now and then, I need a relatively shorter series because those are games that I definitely want to check out, right? I don't know if... The, I probably will play Great Ace Attorney Chronicles first. Um, I don't think it's very likely that Persona 5 Strikers will be done by that time, so Neo The World Ends With You will likely have to be put off for a bit, but uh, I definitely want to play Grace Turning Chronicles when that comes out. So I figured this is probably the best time for me to come back and check this stuff out. Better late than never, I suppose, right? I'm sure a lot of you guys already have art seen and reacted to this probably many months ago. This is definitely not like this shit just got done. No, this thing's been actually complete for a while. So what I'm going to be doing in this time is I'm actually going to be reacting and sort of analyzing uh, the remaining scenes, main story scenes of Kingdom Hearts Union Cross. Um, if Dark Road is completed, or maybe if it isn't completed, I'll just check out the main story cutscenes of that as well, if I can find them. Because like I said, I was kind of trying to look it up online and it was a little, uh, I don't know, it was kind of confusing. I couldn't really tell if there were people had those up or if they were the full thing or not. I, I don't know. And then finally, I'm actually going to check out the cutscenes of one other game, and that is melody of memory which surprisingly actually does have some lore bits to it um some stuff that's supposed to take place after the end of uh remind from kingdom Hearts 3 so cool uh and if you're wondering why don't i do like a let's play of melody of memory melody of memory is a rhythm based game uh with a lot of basically just recovering of plot points from previous games right um, and I'm just not really that into rhythm games personally to do like a full series on it. And not to mention, I've heard people say that they've run into uh, actually copyright issues with 
the music from that game. I don't know if a lot of the songs in the game are like fancy versions or something, or if it's just the fact that it's, you know, because you're playing through the game and you're not probably talking as much because you're listening to the songs you play. It just gets a flat, more likely it flagged. I'm not really sure, but it doesn't really matter because like I said, I wasn't really planning to play the game anyway. It just doesn't interest me. And it's, it's a lot like what feels like Kingdom Hearts filler, right? Maybe it has bits of lore in there, but compared to like an actual fully fledged like Kingdom Hearts game with Kingdom Hearts gameplay, it's just not really something I want to devote an entire let's play to and it just doesn't interest me it's like if dream drop distance didn't have the actual kingdom hearts gameplay in there and instead just had like taking care of your fucking dream eaters or dream weavers or whatever the fuck I probably would have just reacted to the cutscenes of that but thankfully they did actually have gameplay in that as well but it's the same reason why I just don't also want to play through the entirety of union cross because holy fuck dude it's a giant free to play fucking bullshit game with microtransactions and crap and apparently a ton of ton of filler right like we're gonna be looking at just the main story shit but there's so much filler in this game it's insane just getting even to the, the stuff that you give a crap about would probably take forever so i'm glad that people have put these compilations together that just cover the main shit you know because it really does make my life a lot easier that said unbelievably i i really didn't think there would be like that much left to union cross that i hadn't seen but in reality there's actually still three solid freaking hours of cutscenes i have yet to see that are apparently main story this isn't just like the going to the disney world and smacking sh some shit supposedly all right unless this fucking video i'm about to watch is lying to me but everything I've been looking up, like all the main story scene, like cutscene videos, all seem to indicate that these are three hours worth of content that is worth checking out. So I'm not going to do this in a single video. I'm just not. So it's probably going to be two to three videos covering Union Cross, then maybe an additional video covering Dark Road, and then one last video covering Melody of Memory. And that's what I'm going to be doing for these next few videos uh, in between Persona 5 Strikers. And hopefully they'll get me at least relatively close to when like uh, Ace Attorney Chronicles uh, gets released. So, huh, all right. Yes, so that is what is going on. And now I know a lot of you probably maybe feel the same way I do where you were like, oh God, oh God, I'm going to hop back into the middle of this complete clusterfuck of insanity that is Union Cross. There was so much stuff. There's so many things that happened in this series, but I've, I've sort of gone through and thankfully there are at least a good number of like smaller videos that just give you a nice like summary of events. And a lot of these, I, I do, I really actually want to give a little shout out to um, a user by the name of Damo279 actually was a, uh, he put together a number of uh, summary videos that really do a great job of talking about the series. Uh, in relative detail, but just covering mostly the important stuff and explaining the story of this series. And I highly, highly recommend, if you don't remember some of the stuff that happened here, you check out these videos. I'll even leave a link to uh, the video that I watched some of, not all of, but I, I actually did watch this video the first time back two years ago when I had to get refreshed of the series again. I just went, I didn't watch it all this time because it is almost an hour, but I did just, just kind of go through some like the more recent stuff because that is the stuff that I really needed sort of refresher on. So yeah, go check it out. He will definitely get you caught up pretty damn well. If you just left off right where I was, though I imagine a lot of you guys probably are already caught up at this point since, and maybe already know what the ending is, but just in case, you know, just in case you're like, you know what? I'm just gonna react with this with Nico and not go and look at it up at all myself. Well, there you go, all right? You're, hopefully we'll get you caught up. But in my own words, if I may say just real quick, sort of my understanding and gist of where we are from when we last left off. Basically, you're the Keyblade wielders in freaking Daybreak Town. The Keyblade war, hap war happens. There are the foretellers. You know, everyone's got factions, people churning against each other. You control one of the guys that gets in there. Everybody fights each other as foretold by the fucking master of masters. But it's such a dank, horrible thing that happens to everybody that 
the new foretellers, which include uh, Lorium, which is Marluja's original self, Ventus, uh, Ephemera, Skald, and some new guy we've never seen before. I think his name is Brain. Uh, they decided to put everybody who's, I think, still alive into a data virtual reality of all the events that happened in the original Union Cross or, or Kingdom Hearts Key story. Uh, which basically makes you go back through. It's kind of like their version of doing like a new game plus, right? Because they have like a new version of this game. So you go back through the game again, except you don't get into a Keyblade War and you just go on your merry adventures in this fake reality. And its story is basically about now the five foretellers uh, looking after this data recreation. And everything that they're doing is based off of a rule book that was given to them by Ava. And Ava had this book given to her by the Master of Masters. And the book tells them all like the stuff that they should do. A lot of it is pretty like for what I could tell kind of covers a lot of like things like uh, the multiplayer in the game. You know, like things that, like like there's like a little pet or something that follows you around and just things that are seemingly kind of like for gameplay purposes, but they have like a story reason for it. And like the bits of story that we sort of had and were focusing on before when I had last checked the series was that Strelitzia, which was your buddy that you uh, had actually met back in the real world. She is actually Lorium's sister and she gets like basically cut down by this darkness and gets her rule book taken away from her. It suggested that this uh, darkness that took it from her is a, an imposter in the foretellers. So out of the new five foretellers, right? These are the new ones, the younger ones that aren't the other ones with the masks on, right? Those guys are gone and seemingly dead, even though we saw them at the end of King Mars 3. So they probably travel through time or some shit. There is an imposter among the group. We don't know who it is. At least I don't know who it is. It's probably going to get explained here. If it doesn't, I'm going to be pissed. But they took her rule book and are probably pretending to be one of the people. The most likely person here seems to be the brain guy, right? But I don't know. I'm almost thinking it couldn't have been Ven because Ven does have a fucking demon living inside of him by the name of evil Haley Joe Osmond. I don't know. We're still trying to figure that out where we left off. Meanwhile, Lorium is trying to find Strelitzia uh as his as her brother because she didn't make it into like the data world or the the dandelions like the other uh like everybody else did uh we actually see the original version of Lorxine named Elrena uh and she's way less bitchy for some reason because apparently she was friends with Strelitzia she has no idea where she is and that's kind of it that's kind of where we left off oh and Brain I think said like he, at some point he's like I'm gonna be the virus that protects everybody by being a virus. <laughs> I it was such a weird thing for him to say. But he's like, I'm going to protect everybody and protect, uh, prevent anything bad from happening to all the people who are in the simulation. The one thing I don't quite remember, and I don't remember exactly the reasoning behind this is why they're deciding to do this simulation at all. Like, I seemingly a number of these characters are dead, right? A huge chunk of the characters that went into the Keyblade War are, are deceased. So they're basically taking the people who are left, right? And putting these fake memories in there. I don't know why, like, I guess it's just them to like recover from this, but are they planning to keep them in there forever? Like, what was like the, the actual like need to do that? It's just because the Master of Masters told them to do it or Ava or whatever. I don't think we know quite what happened to everybody else either. I think Lushu is like, like watch this shit happen. But now he's just like on his merry way with this big dump box of his. But basically, like, what was the end game to this? Like, what were they hoping? Are they just going to stay there forever? Were they going to come back out again? Seemingly, the world that they left behind is still there, right? It's not like the whole world just went fucking boom. Like the original Daybreak Town and everything's there. It's just... Got a lot of dead bodies, I guess. And also, I was kind of uncertain, but is like the versions that we're seeing of the foretellers when they're like meeting with each other, are they in the fake world or on the in the real world talking about the fake world? I don't know. Like, that's kind of the other part I was like a little uh, unsure about was like, okay, how does this function again? Where are they specifically? Oh, right. And the other thing, um, the other, I think, important thing that we sort of covered was that Maleficent is seemingly trying to, like, change the timeline of events, right? Because she keeps getting fucking beaten and it pisses her off. So she she remembers what uh, Master Xehanort had said to her, that if a body and a heart are separated, they will that heart can travel through time, right? Uh, and because she got stabbed by Riku in Kingdom Hearts 1, 
Uh, she realized that she had the ability to travel through time because now her heart was, I guess, free. Uh, so she basically hopped back in time to try to, like, just fuck everything up uh, back to her uh, a body in the past. But by doing so, she ended up going into a fake version of her original world, the data version that was recreated for this illusion that they're they're portraying to all the dandelions, right? And so she ends up apparently going to that world. She gets defeated yet again. And she's like, what the fuck? How the hell I couldn't get this? I couldn't uh, defeat him again. And then I, that's when the darkness comes out, who's seemingly the same darkness that kills Strelitzia. And it's like, hey, you, uh, I, I think he's the one that informs her that you're in a fake version of your world. I think, she may, or maybe she already knew that by this point. I'm, I'm not entirely certain, but but basically he's the one who says, I can help you get back to your original time, right? And escape this place because she seemingly can't seem to get out of here now. So the darkness is definitely the like, like who the fuck is that? We think it's likely one of the foretellers, but which one is it? Okay, I think that's I think it's generally like what is going on here. And of course, you know, you have your your OC character. I don't even know if it's gonna is it gonna be a boy or a girl here. I think this is probably probably gonna be a girl because I think this is the uh, the video I'm gonna watch is by Everglow, uh, who is who I watched before. <laughs> are you caught up? Do you, are you do you understand or at least have a relative gist of what's going on? If you don't, I totally get it. That's how I felt about an hour ago until I sat down and like, like seriously, like I was studying for a big test. Like, okay, all right, how this should go again? But okay, so uh, I, literally the last scene we saw, if you're actually watching from the previous video too, was that Lorium spoke to the main character, your player character, uh, asking them if they knew where Strelitzia was. So uh, we didn't know, or I don't think, we never actually met her in this version of the world, right? Unlike in the real version. So we're just like, I don't know. So yeah, that's it. And this, I, I believe this is actually the officially translated version of the game now too. The the versions and videos that we watched back in 2019, at least the more recent stuff were, were actually fan translated. So uh, that's cool. So, all right guys, here we go. Uh, let's check it out. We got, like I said, three hours worth of cutscenes. We're not gonna do it all at once, but at least I think we can go maybe an hour for each of these as we uh, go through the remainder of Union Cross. I'm likely going to have questions. There's probably still stuff I forgot or didn't cover, but hopefully you guys can help me uh, keep track of what the fuck, I, what the fuck is happening. Okay. All right. Long time to see. Hey there. It's me. Hi. Thank you for coming. See, look at, look at, look at uh, Lark scene. No problem. Thanks for your help. Look at her being all sweet and cute. But that might just be the chib the chibi uh, look about all these characters. I've managed to uncover some things since. That's wonderful. We actually found something too. Oh, so looking for Strelitzia still. After you left, took a look inside. All right, so okay, I think they all thought, they all realized that this was the house that she disappeared in, right? This place gave me the creeps. Me too. Oh, okay. I think and we not we haven't seen this, have we? Walk into the dark house. Anyone there? Mr. Kitty, Mr. Kitty. Should we head back? Uh, I think we should. God, what? I like I like it, by the way, we're all like these fucking keyblade wielders and who fight demons and shit on a daily basis, but we're like walking to this one dark house and we're like, ah, oh, God, I just can't handle this. Ah, God! <laughs> a ghost! I, well, oh, that's right. Okay, so there's Strelitzia. And she's all glitchy. Wait! Strelitzia! That's one hell of a name. Strelitzia. What was that? What the fuck? So that was like her death, right? Her death was fucked, by the way. Wait! Strelitzia. Hello? Strelitzia! Strelitzia. We really need to give you a shorter name. We came back a few times, but we never saw her again. 
So I'm sort of interpreting like this, that from is like their memories of what happened being ble bleeding into this fake ver this fake version of the world or something. But then it, well, well, whose memories though? No one's around. I don't know, actually. <laughs> how the fuck, how does this shit work? Also, also, I remembered something. Something Strelzius Terra that you mentioned the last time we talked. Oh boy, this should be good. That's right, there are many Mr. Kitties in this world. She doesn't even know their name. Nope. All oh, right. Why does she want to invite them to join join the Danny Lions? Right. So was he, uh, wasn't he? Wasn't actually a friend of ours actually at all, was she? I I can't remember. Did she never actually meet us? I initially said she was a friend of ours. In reality, I don't know if she ever actually met us. I think she just saw us and she's like, she seemed like a nice person or something like that. Like we get like her, like her little story, right? Which was fairly short, but I just remember being insanely sad because at the end she just ends up getting fucked up. Or gets a rule book taken and then she's like bleeding out and dying and carrying, up, carrying her Mr. Kitty to get out of there. She's like, I just wanted to talk to that cool player character. And then she dies. Well... I can't really say much. But she wants to save them from the war that's going to... Huh? What? Sorry, I need to go. What? <laughs> what, what, what? Scald and somebody? Hey, Charity. Hey, her Charity talked about a war. Are you sure? All right, because a lot of people sort of seemingly kind of forgotten about it now, right? Yes, Master Ava spoke about war in her speech. But it never happened. That was strange. Yeah, it was kind of weird. Strelitzia was certain the Keyblade War was going to become a re reality. But how could she have known? Ah. Suggesting, right, she has the rule book, right? In the rule... I in the rule book is, I think, what explained it. Again, all right, so here they are. Here are the five foretellers, right? There's Lorium, from, from right to left. Lorium, Skald, Ephemera, Ventus, fucking Ventus, and uh, uh, Brain, I think? I, I think that might have been a mistranslation. I don't know, we might see, but, but one of these guys, I think, is not supposed to be here. Uh, oh, fuck. What did I, voice did I give this guy? Uh, I'll just give him a dark dank shit. Your sister was set. Oh, uh, wait. Uh, so I, I gave him like a Ziggy voice, kind of. I think I did. Sister was asked to become a dandelion, and yet, not only did she join them, she wanted desperately for this someone to join, too. Puzzling, isn't it? Call me that! Oh, that was a flashback, right? Perhaps, bra oh, it is Brain. Brain might know something. <laughs> what a weird name, Brain. Ventus is Ventus and the Brain, 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 Brain. Spit it out then. Oh, sorry. It's just, you haven't put down that book. I was just wondering what you were reading about. It's like the master of master's book, right? I knew Ephemer was curious, but Brain, you take you take the cake. You see the beauty? I have a plan. Huh? What kind of plan? We're still headed for inevitable destruction. What? And I'm gonna change that. Oh wait, did I watch this scene already? Maybe I did see this. Right, because he shows his face. This world is on a path headed for destruction. Overriding people's memories of the Keyblade War didn't change that. So I came up with a plan. I'm going to become a virus and overwrite the program that is in the, is this world's future. I could have swore I literally stopped where I... Okay, I guess I, guess I didn't. I must have... Could have sworn I'd already reacted to this. Oh, wait, are we flashing back again? Wait, where am I in this? Fucking the plan. Strolls his whereabouts. Yeah, whatever. 
Uh, I haven't had that much fun in a long time. Thanks, Ever <laughs> Thanks, Everglow. Oh, okay. No. I thought it was a female. Uh, maybe it's a different version. Actually, no. I, I think maybe that wasn't Everglow's. Anyway, okay. So, boy character. A boy, green hair, OC dude. Oh, I... Okay, so that... So, the person I saw with Skull was literally the OC character with Skull. Got it. Who's dressed like Kingdom Hearts 3 Riku. It's good to take a break every now and then. Yes, I do like breaks. Ah, ah, ah. Hope we see you, see you again soon. Of course. I like it. What, what the hell is going on? Why is why is the OC character so much higher res than fucking Ephemer? <laughs> Seriously. And the chair thing. Updated textures pack. Is it supposed to be that way? Maybe it is. No. They're all blurry too. The world looks like he's glitching out. It's already begun. Skulls, what do you think about Brain's plan? To rule the world? He's called Brain for a reason. <laughs> Apparently, okay. He knows a lot more about this than any of us. Is that why we call him Brain? I just don't understand why the Dandelions need to be safe from the, the Keyblade War if we were doomed from the beginning. Damn you, Nomura. I don't get it either. Should we talk to Ephemer and see what he thinks? I think we should. Where is everyone anyway? Probably out doing raids or something. Hmm? What? What the fuck? Okay, this leads me to believe... This, okay, they, they must be talking in the foreteller's room of the data world, right? Yeah. Okay, I, I think. Master Ava! They're new cr crudes. Uh, okay. Uh, weird, deep, deeper voice for, I think, the Master of Masters. Or no, no, he, he got kind of a fun voice, but... Make all dandelions... Yeah, it was something like that. Make all dandelions, time comes, teach rolls, blah, 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 blah. Why is one circled? Jackpot Weirder gets free copy book prophecies. Book? Okay, this is when I hang out the rule book, right? A great idea, probably, don't you think? Oh, and it's also need to shape world into a supposed be. Be poppity lily. What in the doodle is this? Is Brain still here? Yes, you said to the control room. I'll get him. <laughs> it's actually another reason. Why, this is another reason why I, I actually want to have like this have the, not have this all in like one big fat video for you guys because I know I'm gonna be looking at this and probably like forgetting shit and saying some stuff wrong and I want you guys to correct me. <laughs> if there's like some shit, I'm like, no, nigga, that's not right at all, you big dumb dumb. Okay, you keep track of this very simple lore. Okay, so now we can actually just see Brain's face on a normal basis, not con continuously shrouded. Seemingly, I don't know if, it, like, the thing about this is, like, it's kind of hard to look and be like, is he some guy we're supposed to recognize? He looks kind of like, uh, Zexian almost, right? But Zexian, no, but Zexian's a baby, and his hair is bluish, actually. Uh, Zigbar? No, Zigbar got a big ponytail, and, no, he's Lucio. We already know that, right? But wait, that, wait. Well, technically, well, technically he is, but... At the same time, I think they even mentioned in Kingdom Hearts 3 that Lushu has gone through multiple forms, right? So he probably doesn't even look like that in this at this point. It just kind of makes you wonder why they just they just felt like they had to shroud his eyes. Maybe they just want us to immediately suspect him. I feel like it is a misdirection, though. If he's just the bad guy or the 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 one not supposed to be there, it would be kind of like a well, fucking duh. All right, that's what everyone's gonna think. That can't be good. <laughs> it's all it's already begun. What? Blah 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 blah. I love going on raids. Well, I should be heading back. What is that? <laughs> uh oh. Matrix is breaking down already. 
Let's go and find out. <laughs> that was goofy running this in this game. What's going on? Data Heartless. Ow. That's a fucky looking dude. Uh, have they made their way inside or... Wait, is my character talking? I think there's a point where like your character just says nothing and then until like the end of the the Union Cross game and then suddenly they actually start talking. What is this? It's like the top of the clock tower where the foretellers are. Bray! Bray, where are you? Where is he going? He's <laughs> like Harless shows up. Oh, fuck this about. Hey, you know, Everglow isn't allowed in here. This is an emergency. Besides, I trust Ever Everglow. I don't think they do talk at this point. Let's go. I guess they went back to being a solid protagonist. Wait. Now they're going up there? I like how everybody is going up here. Uh, oh. Hey, oh, that's cool. Ben's there, and he is using his famous backhanded style. Ephemer, thank goodness. Oh, come on, Ven. That should have been easy. Didn't expect to see you here, Ven. Well, we were sitting around talking when suddenly Master a Ava appeared. Or something that looked an awful lot like her, and... Is that even the same Keyblade? That Keyblade looks really different from his other one. This is my friend. Oh, it's nice to meet you. Call me Fett! And then what? Oh, right. And I thought Brain might know something, so I came looking for him. He's in the control room. Yep. Uh, not you. Huh? Oh, I think he did say something there. They're all around us! Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Oh, oh fight's over. What's happening? Glitchy Heartless. God, this data, this data shit never works out, does it? Seriously. This shit fucks up every time we ever try to do anything data-wise. Whether it's data Twilight Town or data fucking uh, recoded shit. Everything always doesn't get fucked up and turned into weird blocks. And then my friends are my power and burner, burner, burner. We don't know what's waiting for us in there. Is there a door over there? What are we looking at? Our brain's okay. Let's find out. Uh. Wait a minute. Everglow's not allowed in there. Fuck it. Fuck the rules. I've got a keyblade. It's fine. I guess that is a door. Just, or a keyhole, so we assume it must be a door. Holy shit! This is where I watch all my shows on Disney Plus. Break! Oh my god, there's so much shit in here. Uh FMA van. Wow, there's like a lot going on in this room here. And you are? This is Everglow, the friend I mentioned before. Brain, what's going on? Some strange things are happening outside. I managed to stop the inf infestation for now. Let me explain what's going on as simply as I can. Before the Keyblade War in the world we call Daybreak Town, we were able to visit worlds from the future via the Book of Prophecies. It was like a pop-up book of sorts. Okay. It projected the future of worlds. Worlds that currently existed. Oh my god. Technically, you didn't have to rely on the book to get to, get to these worlds since they were all connected to Daybreak Town. By land, you could have visited the present versions of these worlds if you wanted to. Wait. What? Wait. Huh? What? So we've been going to these worlds through this book 
and the book we're the version we're going to is the future version when we go through the book. Okay, but I managed to let me finish. Uh, we could have gone to all those places, or we could have gone to all these places. Well, it wouldn't have been that easy. The world is a big place after all. <laughs> I feel like expressing that by putting all these books here. Now, after the Keyblade War, the worlds all broke apart from each other. Right. They were no longer connected. It was written in the book that that, that would happen. So all the worlds have been recreated as data in preparation to ensure that even without the book, the worlds and their futures would still be accessible through a virtual setting. Okay. With me so far? Kinda. <laughs> I like I like how they he's like he's like, I know this is insanely complicated, but just try to bear with me. Much like before the war, we dandelions have continued to visit these these worlds by the way of the virtual daybreak town. Right, but it's not the real versions. From the real daybreak town we make our way to the virtual one, and from there we're the world the world of our choice. Yes, but they're not real either, right? Still with me. So we're like basically doing nothing. I, I think so. Uh, please keep going. Question. Is the Daybreak Town we're in right now real or virtual? That's what I've been asking! <laughs> this is what I've been asking. I was like, right? I figure since we're seeing glitches, they must be in the virtual one. Hmm. They, do they not know? Make the most sense for this to be the real world. Right? But there are things happening here that shouldn't be. So we're in the virtual world? I wish it were that clear. Like FMS said, this should be the real world. And yet those glitches are obviously a phenomenon that belongs to the virtual one. Oh my God, please tell me you're not fucking tell- There's some You're not telling me that there is a virtual world within another virtual world. I'm going to rip my face off. <laughs> I swear to God. I swear to God. Dude, dream within a dream, man. Mura, I swear to God. Then what's going on? Remember at the beginning, I explained that this world is like a portal connecting to the future of worlds that already exists. That was the case until now. Somehow it's connecting to a place that doesn't exist in this world of time. What? How? I guess it's because mine. I don't know if this is all part of the plan or what. All I know is that we know practically nothing about this new location. I see. I also know the glitches start at PN once we connected to this place. It's impossible to completely sever the connection, but I did manage to stabilize it. We'll have to poke around to get some answers. You want want us to go there? It's the best way to find out what's going on. All right, I'm in. What? I thought you might say that, and while I appreciate the gesture, the leader should stay in, in case something happens. I think we should send a dandelion, like this no-name person. After all, it's just like any other mission. Yes, you, slightly higher res character. But it's too dangerous. What do you think? I'll go. I'll go. Everglow. It'll be fine. All you need to do is secure the route, and I should be able to stabilize it so we can come and go as we please from this end. That way, the others will be able to join you later. I, sh I should go too, but Everglow. Fine, better two as the one anyway. <laughs> Friendship's a beautiful thing! Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck this game. <laughs> oh, wait, no, he said that. I, I thought the entire group all said at the same time. Friendship's a beautiful <laughs> My friends are my power. My friends. I was like, oh my God. Friendship's a beautiful thing. Just remember, come back immediately if you sense any danger. So, okay. Huh? Still unstable, hurry. So we're, we're, 
I, I'm, I'm already confused about where the fuck we're going. Behold, repeat texture town. Uh, what am I looking at? Sure doesn't look like the others. Yo, what up? Maybe we already, we're already there. Already there. Oh, it's just like a tube or something. Ah, where did they come from? That's a fucking different heartless I have never seen before. We need to get, we need to get past them. Do it. A battle later. There's another one. Better get past them too. Not you. Not this again. Is it talking? Get ready. All right, it's dead. Let's chase after it. Into the background. Oh God, now where are we? This must be it. Uh, is that a trash can? What the fuck is this? A movie theater? <laughs> what? Is that an arcade machine on a picture back there? Game Central Station? What's that? Is this the world we were looking for? Cool music. I think so. I wonder where all those entrances lead. Look over there. Oh, what? Oh, 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 oh. What the fuck? It's Wreck It Ralph World? Sorry, it's been a long time since I've seen Wreck It Ralph. I just saw Felix. Oh, Fix It, Fe Fix it Felix or whatever his name is. Oh. Huh? Wait, not so fast. Heroes. Oh, my God. Call of Duty. Hero Duty. And over there, we need to find out what's causing the glitches and why the Darklings are here. The Darklings will split up. Right. Wait, 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 wait. What are the Darklings again? Oh, that's right. The Darklings are like Keyblade wielders that turn into Heartless. Is that right? Is that why they can talk? Uh, uh, uh. Uh, I'll take the Darklings. Everglow, can I count on you to investigate the glitches? Fix it, Felix Jr. Okay, I guess this must be significant because we are not skipping this. Normally, we skip uh, Nice Land. The Di they, we skip pretty much all the Disney World shit because it was pointless. I guess not this time. Oh, my God. Fix it, Felix Jr. Trap, we lost them. We need to find them and stuff whatever they're, they're planning to do in this world. I guess it must be. I am kind of surprised. Because right now, it just seems like some inane bullshit. They're heartless here, too? Guess you know what to do. Gotta go pay money for stuff. Unless you want to grind it out, bitch. I don't know. I, I've, no, I've never played this. So I have no idea if the, the game is grindy or not. Hi, Ralph. Yeah. Fuck you, Ralph. Wait, who are you? Oh, I get it. I, I cannot do it. Oh, I can't do a Ralph impression, man. Oh, I get it. You're a, you're a, oh. I'll, I'll do my best, though. You're a turbo? Well, not in my game. Stop, this is already getting meta enough. And then I killed Ralph, the end. Ralph was the master of masters all along. Uh, Ralph? Ralph? You killed him! No, he couldn't be. C could he? <laughs> he's just, uh, he's just bleeding on the ground. Oh, no! 
just what do you think you're doing? You can't come into our game and do that. You're inside my game. Yes, Ralph is the bad guy, but we need him. We he wrecks the building and I fix it. I'm supposed to defeat him. Me, Felix. Ha ha, huzzah. The players didn't notice anything, but be careful. If they think our game is broken, we'll get unplugged. Well, good news. At least it's based off the first game and or the first movie. I heard that, I actually have not seen the second movie, but I did not hear great things about it. Well, I've got to get ready for the party, friend. So long. Also, I gotta report you to the police. Now, see, why can't this shit be? In, why couldn't this shit have been in a real? F oh, oh. Okay, so at the start of this video, they actually, he actually, the uh, Everglow who put this together actually said they included some additional like uh, text boxes to help explain stuff, like probably the stuff that you do in between. That's like, that's the fluff and name bullshit, right? That's kind of nice. The other, a lot of the other videos I watched before didn't have that. So why why could we have a Wreck It Ralph world, man? Like in Kingdom Hearts three, like we had a he was a summon, but we never got like his world, and that that seemed like a fucking prime opportunity because then we have like Doctor Robotnik and fucking Street Fighter guys and Wolverine and and Call of Duty man to show up. Captain Price comes in, pulls out a gun, shoots so right in this fucking face. <laughs> ah! Uh, just like in the Wreck It Ralph movie, Ralph doesn't want to be a bad guy anymore. He leaves his own game in order to win a medal so he can finally be treated with respect. Okay, so it's really that significant that it look look. It says no filler. Since Ralph is known as the bad guy, sure thing believes there's a connection between Ralph and the darkness. He asks you to follow him, hoping you can find out the order of the glitches this is getting insanely meta it's freaking me out dude oh wait is our game actually actually connected to this station and does it have its own fucking tag over it too where it's like hop into kingdom hearts union cross off that free to play game in the apple store oh, just, go, just go down this tunnel i swear to god dude i swear to fuck stop it namura does that mean if I go down another pathway, it's going to lead to Versus 13, the game that Nomura always wanted to make, but never did. Then that's where the Kingdom Hearts 4 is going to be. Do you have a plan? Oh, wait, I'm sorry. I didn't get but you have a plan because I don't... I don't... How are we going to find Ralph? We don't know his favorite hangout. It'll take forever if we have to search every single knockoff game. Oh my god, okay, so yeah, he's just, they're going through the movie, there he is, Call of Duty, he's gonna run into Jane Lynch. Or not. Over there! He's just different, but that's definitely Ralph. Let's follow him! <sighs> okay, there's Jane Lynch. Gameplay in three, two, one, let's go. Da -da 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 -da. We are humanity's last hope. Is this really that significant? Throw the side books and let's find out. The thing is, I actually went, I want to make sure that this actually did just wasn't like bullshit. So I, I was like looking through this thing and I was, yeah, it seemed like it was all just the main story shit. It didn't include all the Disney worlds. Like I'm not seeing Aladdin and crap. Yeah. Yeah, so it's all. This must be significant. I just find it. I just find it weird that this one Disney World is like. I gotta show. I, let me go ahead and also show the plot for Wreck It Ralph. Holy shit! It's music. Yoko, calm down. Dope. Cyborg Sector. This would be really cool and a. But not mobile game Kingdom Hearts. Dude! Ah! Ah! <laughs> Can I kill you with a key? I don't even know. I need a gun. Gun keyblade. They're heartless, but they sure don't like. They should. Uh, yeah, but they sure don't like us either. I guess you can kill them. Actually, now that I think about it, those little those little like uh, glitch heartless actually look like the glitch blocks from Recoded, don't they? Oh, where'd they go? It's like the same weird like 
red and black uh, color palette and design. That's where Ralph was headed. Wonder what's in there. Let's find out. A medal. I finally got a medal. goes to internet world and then things get really meta uh oh i think we might be in trouble fmr's here everglore you're right I was chasing that. Darkling. His <laughs> breath off. And let me to you. Uh, are you with me? Yes. I sure am glad you're here. Good luck, you two. This is going to be the most epic battle ever. Let's do this. Ah! Oh. Ah! It's over. Uh, not you. Said before, what do you mean? What do you mean? Oh, God. Oh, get fucked. Oh, that's, uh, not good. Not. Dude, they, they fused. What the fuck? They can do that, apparently. Bye. This isn't good. Looks like that monster somehow absorbed the Darkling into itself. We need to feed it before it's too late. Are you ready again? Nod. Seriously. Ah! And there goes Ralph. Okay. Darkling bug. This isn't like any side bug I've ever seen before. Fuck. Harness the power of it within you, Jane Lynch. Aggressively, you ran past me before. Yeah. And you think you'd handle yourself? Here! Hands me a pistol. Sick. I'll be ready to prove it. No problem. This is just like our missus back home. That's what I like to hear. Now listen up. Missus destroy that abomination. Missus destroy the thing that is trying to kill us. Good mission. It's over. We win. And that's how it's done. As for the rest, what's the biggest up? There'll be a side bug splatter in no time. More importantly, we've got a side bug in soldier that are MIA. And then there's Felix. All right. If I remember, I have not seen this movie in a long time. Doesn't Felix and her, don't Felix and her like hook up? They like fuck in the end or something? That's hot. That wasn't a soldier, man. That was Ralph. He disappeared with that, that monster. And then this happened, and then this happened. So, I think there might be a link between the bad guy, Ralph, and the glitches. Everglow, can you keep looking into the glitches? I'll head back in and inform the others about the Darklings. Darklings. Oh, my, what is, what is that expression? I'm tasked you with this because I trust you, and I love you, and I know you'll be fine on your own. I see we're apart. Our hearts are always connected. Heart like Darbark! Don't forget that. Good. I haven't gotten some heart like Darbark in you know, quite a while. I needed that. Thanks, Ephemer. Key beam portal thing. All right, bye.
<laughs> and now you think about it. Is this game inside Kingdom Hearts uh, Union Cross or is Union Cross inside of that game? Oh shit. About five years ago. Oh my God, what's happening now? Lucio and Master Masters again? I was a young boy when. Huh? What? What? Even I, even I was a kid once. Right, of course. Anyway, I was a young boy when the Keyblade War began. What? What? There was a Keyblade War back then too? Yep, that's right. Did you have a master of your... Oh, nope. What? Who was fighting... Who do you think? Line Dark. Line Darkness. Light? There were wielders beside besides you. Hmm. I mean, I, I would give him the Ziggy voice, but I currently did it for the other guys, so... Fuck it, I'm just going with some deeper. Mm, they were, but they don't really count. And the dark in the darkness. Where were there monsters like there are now? Okay, no more questions did I finish my story. Right, sorry. To answer your question, if I had to call them something, monsters would be pretty accurate. But they looked like us. Oh, so they were human. I didn't say that. Anyway, the Keyblade War dates back to when the darkness took that form. And still waging as we speak. What? It's still going on? Yes, the battle with darkness never stopped. The Keyblade War isn't about to begin. Isn't about to begin. In fact, it might finally come to an end. I. Darkness is constantly changing shape, even hide among humans. That's the reason the war was never able to end. Ha! Huh. What? Oh my god. There was a war before the war. Or the war that was already going on during the war on the war. So it seems like, okay, he's sort of suggesting that this darkness, right? The darkness that maybe kills Strelitzia and is working with Maleficent is perhaps this darkness that's being referred to here. It was like monsters that look like humans, potentially. The coming battle will end the world. It, it will end the world. Everything will be destroyed. The wielders sent out outside will gather life from the now scattered worlds. And with that light, the world we will be rebuilt. The world will end and be rebuilt. That's right. You can't erase what lives on in the hearts of children, wills and their stories, and most of all, light. Of course, you can't erase the darkness either. But you can call it a truce. I could go for a nice long break right about now. May I kick back for a while? What? You're going to sit back and leave the fate of the world in other people's hands. Why not? That's why I'm having Ava round up the best of the best. The start up the key, become unchained, and fulfill the duty through Union Cross. Those wielders will be the cornerstones of the new world. Did they just describe all versions of this fucking game in one thing? They're going to start at this one, and then we're going to go to Unchained, and then we're going to go to Union Cross, and then we're going to go to Dark Road, and then we're going to fucking Kingdom Hearts 3. And I'm, I'm, cornerstones. Oh, fucking cornerstones. You know, like a thing at Disney Castle. But they can come home once they're done, right? Well, maybe not all of them. Oh, for fuck's sake. And back to the present, I guess. Now, let's shut up and watch some Disney Plus with me. Oh, wait, it's five years ago. That didn't exist. How's it going? Perfect timing. FMO just got back. And I was about to ask Finn to go get you two. 
<laughs> yes, I know this is a lot like the voice I was just giving to Master of Masters, but it's kind of my laid back dude voice and that, uh, uh, whatever. Which is also very similar to Ziggy, but I don't think too much about it. Scold will be it on the situation. Did you figure out what was causing the glitches? Sort of. You see, before the Keyblade War, Daybreak Town was re recreated as Data along with all the other worlds. Wait, what? Daybreak Town was recreated as Data along with the other worlds before the Key... Yeah, before the Keyblade War. Okay. That's why even though the worlds were destroyed, they're still connected to Daybreak Town. So are they just connected to Data versions and we're still able to visit them or at least their data copies it's precisely because of the data that a connection from the re real world is possible but now a new world has aggressively forged a connection with this with this one wreck it ralph world my, f my friend and i followed the darklings there and did some investigating Looks like it's where the creature that the creature that the creatures that have been popping in our world are coming from. Do you think that dark, the darklings guided them here? Most likely, but I can't imagine. But I can't imagine why. You know, we saw a glitch that looked like Master Eva here in the tower. <laughs> like the nod is like a full body, like <laughs> these glitches. They're showing up in town too. I saw one of Srelitzia. Your sister? Yeah, I came here because I thought you might be able to make some sense of it. Hmm. According to Ephemer, the residents of the newly connected world are aware that the l they live in a data world. That got me thinking. We know the monsters from the new world can infiltrate our, our world. Ven and Skull saw a glitch of Master Ava, and Lorium of his sister. We were so sure we were in the real Daybreak Town. But all signs point to this being a data world, too. The di real Daybreak Town it still exists, right? And what did Ven say? <laughs> what? <laughs> Please say Daybreak Town has disappeared. We have no way of knowing right now. I'm fairly confident we were, were in the real world until this all broke out, at least. So we can't get back? We're stuck here? So this is sort of confusing. Like, so they got put into a, dirt, a virtual data world as well and they didn't realize it. And it's like kind of confusing because when, right? At what point? When they all met for the first time, were they still in the data world? Because they were like, the support when they met in the Key Blake Graveyard. I kind of assumed at this point they were, uh, they'd already hopped into the, the data world as well, but they just didn't bring it up. We thought we had gone back, but it turns out we didn't. Which means we can't go back the usual way. But if you give me a bit more time, I might be able to figure something out. Oh. We thought we had gone back, but it looks like we didn't. Oh, so they thought they left the data world. So they did hop in there, but then they try to hop back out. And in reality, they never actually got at back out. Okay. When was that again? Why is it? Why is this happening? If I had to guess, there's someone behind all this. That's the only thing that makes sense. Probably Maleficent or something. I don't know why, but this data world was probably made to be cut off from the real world from the start. There might not even be a reason for it, aside for being a means to some other end. We escaped the war only to find ourselves trapped in a cage. Son of a bitch. Irony is best. Oh, ho, ho. It couldn't have been Master Ava. She gathered us together so she could keep light alive. And that's good! She wouldn't trick us like this, I guess. At this point, we can't be sure of anything. 
We don't know if Master Ava knew about any of this. I mean, to be fair, they literally wrote down, like, everything that we need to do and was going to happen in a fucking book, so, you know. Oh, who's responsible for the program? It's probably Christopher Lee again. In any case, like I said before, I'm going to become a virus and override it. He says, not forebodingly at all. Where are you going? Downstairs. Do you have a plan? Not yet. Gotta run this game so fucking cute. The little chibis selves. I wonder if there's anything written about this. Four years ago! What? Me? A union leader? You gotta be joking. I'm serious. I'm not cut out for leadership. What exactly factored into that decision? Okay, okay. Ooh. Ooh, this is interesting. So what is the show? It shows that he was, in fact, actually planned to be a leader. He was chosen, which means that, very likely, right, he is not the traitor. Which means, who would, the, who would be the left, then? Scald and Ephemera, pro, Ephemera are probably fine. They, they were, we saw them get picked, right? I don't know if we ever saw Lorium get picked, and then Ven. I, I, I have my suspicions, honestly, is that it's Ven. Like, Ven is going to be, like, infected by darkness or some shit, or... Or it's going to relate to, certain, like, quite literally, Vanitas. I mean, I suppose it could be Lorium, but I don't remember if Lorium ever got sort of... We ever saw him get, like, picked. It's the master, the master's orders. Your master? The master of masters? Yes, and I'm sure you'll do fine. You say that like it's going to be easy. Sounds like a lot of work. And who are the other four, anyway? Tell me. I can't tell you that just yet. Of course not. Why would I? I get it. The five of us are supposed to convene after the war. So you can't have us meeting up and doing something unexpected before then, right? Kind of sounds like you're asking us to be pawns in someone else's game. Clever as always, Brain. Brain, brain, brain. Th thanks, but I'm not sure I'm interested. You're gonna do it, alright, bitch? It's your destiny or something. If I told you the fate of this world was already decided... That'd be terrible. <laughs> that sounds depressing. Why? If everything's already been decided for, for you, where's the fun in that? Where's the fun in this? Where's the... Wait. Where's the fun in this? No. But we already know Zoldan's... No. We've already seen... Wait, I can't remember what Zoldan's original original self was called. He was a he was a royal guard. Him and a uh, big, beefy, red hair guy whose name I can't remember. This guy... This guy doesn't really look like Zoldan anyway. His hair is too spiky. Uh, Zoldan, again, had kind of smooth hair. And a very large chin. And jawline. Well, what if it wasn't decided for you? But you knew what would happen next. This is about the Book of Prophecies. Yes. If you knew what the future held, wouldn't you know how to change it? That's true. Wait. But if you do change something, isn't that what would be written in the in the book? <laughs> yeah. Hmm. How would that work? Does the book get overridden every time something changes? <laughs> She's like laughing. I don't know. We don't know what happens. Maybe it leads to a completely new and undecided future. Is that what this is about? No, it's just something I've been thinking about. About what would happen if we altered our fate. 
This is for you. I was tasked to give this book to, to one of you. What? Me? Oh. The master also gave me this list with the names of the five union leaders. What? So wait. So he, he acted like he came across that book on his own, but in reality, he's actually had it this whole time. He like came across it when he, they met up in the, the foreteller's room. And he also already had a list of all the union leaders, which means he should already know then who the, the, the fake is among the group, right? Seemingly. The one whose name is Circle gets the book. Oh. No one else should read it under any circumstances. I put it between the pages on which your fates are written. Brain, I trust you'll understand my message when the time comes. What? Wait, so he hasn't read it. Or has he? I don't... Don't worry, I already got your message loud and clear. I didn't. Oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, any ideas? Any ideas? Are you kidding? It's only been a few minutes. True. The others decided to stay in the control room a bit longer. All right. I know it's not the best time for this, but I spoke with a friend of Strelitzia's. Apparently, before she disappeared, she talked about the Keyblade War. As if she was sure it was coming. You mentioned before that you couldn't figure out why Strelitzia wanted someone to join the Dandelions. When she'd been so hesitant to join herself. I think it's because she knew the Keyblade War was about to become a reality. But all the dandelions knew all the dandelions knew about the war. They known they known for a while, even a latecomer like her. Right. She knew about it the whole time, so why would she suddenly try to get Ever Everglow to join? I see what you're getting at. Something made her absolutely sure that the war was gonna happen. I think so. I won't open the book if I can avoid it. That's fine. You'll know when it's time. Well, he's been reading it this whole time, right? I actually, I think I see the, the, the list of people, the page sticking out of there, right? But he's been reading it like this whole time, hasn't he? Or is that a different book that he was looking at? No, that was the Book of Prophecies. I'm pretty sure it was... He was long, it, he's been looking at this whole time, I think. I would have imagined that he would have gotten to the list. I don't know why he wouldn't have. I guess he was like, well, maybe it's going to fuck up Destiny or some shit. I might have an idea. What is it? Can you give me some time alone to think? Sure. Let me know if you need any help. Will do. Oh my god. Damn, they are really stretching that shit out, aren't they? I'm back! I think. So, this is Daybreak Town. Seeing the fake one or the real one? Such a perfectly foul place that reeks of light. Ugh, stinks. See, this world holds the key to returning my to my own time. Oh. Probably in the data world. Okay, oh god, there's the darkness, the dankness. Yes. And that's it. Uh, so I asked around. It, it sounds like Ralph flew that pod thing into another game. Sugar Rush. Oh, God. Cybox will chew that game faster than a chicken hawk and a coop of crippled roosters. Oh, boy. Okay, uh, yeah, so we got about two hours left. This 
is probably a good place to end things here for now. They showed a lot of this one, so I guess it really must play into some shit. I mean, it, granted, we were saying the glitches seem to be coming from this place, so I guess it kind of makes sense, but it's kind of funny. It's like, Wreck-It Ralph, that's the one that's like, that one's the one with the really, the, the really dank lore. Man, though, they are really straight. Good thing I don't have to wait like eight months, right? For between updates and shit where it's like, I mean, I, I'm hoping by the end of this, we'll probably know who the fucking traitor is and we'll probably, or the fake person is in the group. I'm still a little miffed that if, if Brain has had this list this whole time, I guess we don't know that he hasn't read it, but it seems like he, he hasn't. Even though he's been reading everything else in the book, I guess maybe she says she put the, the list in between the pages where your fates will collide. And she said, like, plural fates? So, I mean, like, the fate of him and the fate of the imposter, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> We're going to figure that out. It's still intriguing, though. I'm not going to lie. Like, it still got me invested. I, I'll be, it will be kind of curious to see where this goes. But, um, uh, anyway, guys, uh, I hope you all enjoy this, uh, this jump back into to Kingdom Hearts lore. I know it's like hopping back into it. It's just like back in the middle when it's in the middle of something is like, it's like diving in the deep end of a pool and for having no idea how to swim it's like fuck you dude it's like oh i just grasped at anything to try to remember what the fuck is going on but i think i'm i'm still relatively keeping stuff together but if there's anything that you want to correct me on assuming it's not anything that spoils what happens from this point forward uh do let me know because i do i i would like to try to have my shit in lore uh correct and going forward here so but yeah if you guys enjoyed this video please do a like and a favorite it really does help me out and subscribe if you're not ready to come picky penguin Avoid the SLP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. We'll be back with probably another video or two of uh, Union Cross covering the rest of rest of this story. And then I think my plan will be then to, if assuming Dark Road is done, we'll probably check that one out. And then I think Melody of Memories, which isn't actually that long. Like I think it's only maybe about like 20 to 30 minutes of uh, new cutscenes. We can check that one out and maybe like one last video. So, um, but anyway, guys, as always, till next time. Stay classy!